Hi guys, Jeremy from thecustomgeek.com here, and I have an Arduino Uno Q, and there's IOs here that can be controlled via the web. I actually wanted to show you visually for someone just starting out what an input-output is, and like what high-low is, and represented by LEDs. And so I have a bunch of LEDs and resistors, and we're gonna solder this all up. I almost forgot to turn off my knife. Chink. Now we're gonna put all these LEDs in here. So these are our LEDs placed, but not soldered. So we're gonna go ahead and get these soldered in. That'll work. All right, guys, so now we have the web UI loaded to control these pins. It's just a real simple thing. And when we click on them, we can control the LEDs that we saw. Here. So we're just going to go through all these and click all these on. They're turning on like they should. Pretty cool. Oops, I got that one. Kind of a useful teaching tool because you can see how these go high and low and turn them on and off. It's a visual uh, representation of what the pins are actually doing. So we'll go through and turn all these on and they all look good. And, um, whoops. And so, all right, so this right here, this is a good, this is a good lesson. That one's a little bit bright. Um, this one's a lot of bit bright actually. So we're gonna turn that one off. You can see the rest of these are kinda uh, that bright. And then this one is kind of this bright. And so the reason for that is we have a resistor that's, this LED is probably bypassing the resistor. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that. And then we'll come back to that. But pretty much this is it in a nutshell. This um, this is a representation of all the pins. And of course, this is not to control LEDs with your web page. It's to show you that you can control input output pins with a web interface. And it's up to you to create the really good interface that's really Gucci. And so you can, can do lots of cool things and control something even cooler than a breadboard full of LEDs. All right, now we go back to our LED interface and we switch that last one on. Click this on over here. And now it's a normal brightness of all the other LEDs. So make awesome projects, do cool things, get notifications on your phone, and have a great day. So if you're still watching, I think a power indicator would be a good idea. Without exploding things. And get a nice LED indicator on the board. So now even with everything off, this still should light up just fine. Perfect. Still power. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. What? What?